Hello everyone, Zoltan Famous here, and welcome to my top five favorite Slipknot masks. So, um, I'm just gonna put that right there. Like, <laughs> I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Also, I think that you might have been able to see it right. Yeah, you would have been able to see it. Oh well. Anyways, so today, top five favorite Slipknot masks. And of course, what better to do than wear a Slipknot t-shirt? And... To answer everyone else, yes, I know I've been doing a lot of Slipknot content. It's just because I want to get it out before I do anything else. And of course, there's going to be more Slipknot content along the way, like the reaction to their new album called Look Outside Your Window coming sometime soon. I don't know when. Either way, shall we move on to the actual video? <laughs> Top five favorite Slipknot masks? <laughs> okay, so you would think that my own hope is gone um Corey one is in there but it's really not <sighs> people are gonna kill me for that anyways so first one this one i don't know i really like <laughs> um it would be uh jim roots we are not your kind jester mask it looks better than the 5.5 um, the great chapter mask for many reasons in my opinion just because of the cool um, design on the left no on the right eye and it just looks really really cool and hey Tom Savini Duh. then again I mean he did design Corey's and Corey's looks like the definition it looks like a mixture of all hope is gone and a blobfish. Although that being said, I like it. I don't know. Don't yell at me for that. Anyways, next one, number four, Cr uh, Chris's um, self-titled. Now that one's a a picky one for some people. But I like it. It's the original one. It's and it just it's just Craig's signature look. So you know, can't fault me for liking that one. It's his signature look, and it just it fits with him. Sad that he that he did what he did, but oh well, oh well. It sucks to be you. Anyways, next number three. Now, this one I had to think about, but not really. I had to think of the positioning. It was it was at top two at first. But then I was like, eh, that seems a little bit high. So, here it is. Uh, clowns, All Hope is Gone, Gimp Mask. And this one has a lot of... It, it's very hard to find on the internet. I don't know why it's so hard to find, but I was able to find it. And of course, I'm going to show you all the images. I just love the black, the the um, the the very industrial like fence yet chain mill looking um, design mixed with that really it, it it's it's a very Slipknot mask. It's as Slipknot as it gets, <laughs> right? So there you go. Number two, Whew, this is a good one. Joey's All Hope is Gone mask. Now that one's a controversial one again, but I just love the look and I have it somewhere. I can't remember, I'm gonna put an image of the mask and me wearing it. <coughs> um, I just love that mask just because, I mean, the design takes what I really liked about um, Joey Jordison's um, previous masks from Forskak and from all the previous masks that he had in the past when it came to um, 1996 Live with Anders and um, you know up to um, uh, Volume 3 which I enjoyed too but I like the All Hope Is Gone look a little bit more just because it's so cool the um the really dirty um and um so rotten look of it mixed with a lot of like 
really interesting intricate designs that I that I liked from their from his previous masks and put it into such a in, in, put it in a better perspective it just looked really cool then so there you go and finally number one on my list you're gonna I don't think you're gonna know this one I don't know if it's obvious or not but here it is Corey's all hope Corey Taylor's green Iowa mask, which I think was worn in a few hidden shows in between 2001 and 2002, which would make a lot of sense, but I think probably l- late 2001, early 2002-ish, I don't remember, but I think it was, um, I think it was seen on a Summer Sonic Japan tour, which was really cool, I like that mask a lot, it just looks, it takes everything that I liked about the, um, the previous Ghost Glow, the old green kind of faded look, and then implementing it into the Iowa mask that it was, and then coloring it up, and then turning it into an even cooler version of it. I do like the one with the even bigger dark, dark black eyes and the dark mouth, and it looked very much like the original one with just almost full white mask and then just a little bit of black around the edges just to make it look cool. But I do like the green one just a little bit better. It just it, it hit number one. I don't know. Um, a few of my least favorite ones would have to be uh, V Man's new one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one very much. It just it looks more like a mushroom head mask than it than it does a Slipknot mask. But it it's not to say that it's bad looking. I just don't like it very much. It just doesn't fit. Um, oof. A few that I left out on my list was um, Sid Wilson's um, Bones mask from Volume 3 and um, Paul's um, All Hope is Gone because that one, I, I, I love that mask. But it was number six. Which is sad, but I really, really like that one. Paul's masks were always really cool, except for the first ones. I don't know. Everything from um, all uh, Iowa to All Hope Is Gone looked really cool on Paul, but that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Peace.